Hello, and welcome to another video. Today, I'm pleased to share with you another deck tour for a Chatterfang Squirrel General EDH deck. Let's get started. So this is a green and black squirrel-themed deck, and although there aren't that many actual squirrel creatures in here, there are a lot of cards that generate 1-1 one -one squirrel creature tokens, which can team up and then get really, really big. So, to start out, we have our commander, and although his casting cost only has green, the deck is allowed to have black cards in it because of a black activated ability on him. So we have Chatterfang, Squirrel General, two green for a 3-3 three, three. legendary creature, Squirrel Warrior, Forest Walk. If one or more tokens would be created under your control, those tokens plus that many 1-1 one, one green squirrel creature tokens are created instead. Black, Sacrifice X Squirrels. Target creature gets plus X minus X until end of turn. So, we can see right away that he is in the business of creating a lot of squirrels, and then they can all jump onto a big creature and make it even bigger. I like to imagine that they're not dying, by the way. When you sacrifice them, they're actually just uh, combining into one giant creature, and uh, yeah, that just makes me feel a little bit better about it. Alright, and next... We'll go through the rest of the creatures. Toski, Bearer of Secrets. Three green for a one, one. Legendary creature, squirrel. This spell can't be countered. Indestructible. Toski, bearer of secrets, attacks each turn, if able. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. So this was actually the original commander of this deck. And of course the deck was mono green back then but um, ended up swapping this out for Chatterfang so that black could be added in, and so that we could get access to some more important cards for the theme. Skurid Colony One green for a 2-2 two, two. Creature Squirrel. Reach. Scurried Colony gets plus two plus two as long as you control eight or more lands. Squirrel Mob. One green green for a two two. Creature. Squirrel. Squirrel Mob gets plus one plus one for each other squirrel on the battlefield. So of course this creature gets absolutely massive when we are creating a bunch of those 
squirrel creature tokens. Ravenous Squirrel Hybrid Black Green for a 1 1 Creature Squirrel Whenever you sacrifice an artifact or creature, put a plus one plus one counter on Ravenous Squirrel. One Black Green Sacrifice an artifact or creature. You gain one life and draw a card. So this one's a nice little interaction with Chatterfang, where it just gets bigger and bigger every time you activate Chatterfang's ability. Squirrel Sovereign. One green for a 2-2. Two, two. Creature Squirrel Noble. Other squirrels you control get plus one plus one. Deep Forest Hermit. Three green green for a one one. Creature Elf Druid. Vanishing. 3. When Deep Forest Hermit enters the battlefield, create 4 1 1 green squirrel creature tokens. Squirrels you control get plus 1 plus 1. Dray Keeper 3 black green for a 2-2. Two, two. Creature, Elf Druid. When Draykeeper enters the battlefield, create two 1-1 one, one green squirrel creature tokens. Three black. Squirrels you control get plus one plus zero and gain menace until end of turn. Underworld Hermit. Four black black for a three three. Creature, human peasant. When Underworld Hermit enters the battlefield, create a number of one one green squirrel creature tokens equal to your devotion to black. Scurry Oak. Two green for a one, two. Creature, Tree Folk. Evolve. Whenever one or more plus one plus one counters are put on Scurry Oak, you may create a one, one green squirrel creature token. Species Specialist. Two black black for a two three. Creature, Human Warrior. As Species Specialist enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Whenever a creature of the chosen type dies, you may draw a card. So this one also lends itself to that activated ability on Chatterfang, and you get a little extra benefit. Collar of the Claw. Two green for a two-two. Creature, Elf. 
you may play Collar of the Claw any time you could play an instant. When Collar of the Claw comes into play, put a 2-2 Green Bear Creature token into play for each non-token creature put into your graveyard from play this turn. So although this one doesn't create squirrel creature tokens itself, Chatterfang will take care of that for you. Grave Titan 4 black black for a 6-6 six, six. Creature Giant Death Touch Whenever Grave Titan enters the battlefield or attacks, put two 2-2 two, two black zombie creature tokens onto the battlefield. So same deal here. He doesn't create squirrels, but Chatterfang will. Regal Force. Four green, green, green for a five, five. Creature, elemental. When Regal Force comes into play, draw a card for each green creature you control. So that could end up being a lot of cards, depending on how many tokens you have. Nylia, God of the Hunt. Three green for a 6-6. Six, six. Legendary enchantment creature, God. Indestructible. As long as your devotion to green is less than five, Nylia isn't a creature. Other creatures you control have trample. Three green. Target creature gets plus two, plus two, until end of turn. Defiler of Vigor Three green, green, for a six, six. Creature, Phyrexian Worm Trample as an additional cost to cast green permanent spells, you may pay two life. Those spells cost green less to cast if you paid life this way. This effect reduces only the amount of green mana you pay. Whenever you cast a green permanent spell, put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. So this one of course, helps all of your creatures get out of hand pretty quickly. Pathbreaker Ibex. Four green, green for a three, three. Creature, goat. Whenever Pathbreaker Ibex attacks, Creatures you control gain trample and get plus x plus x until end of turn, where x is the greatest power among creatures you control. And then just a few green staples to finish out the creatures. Secura Tri-Builder. One green for a one, one. Creature, Snake Shaman. Sacrifice Secura Tri-Builder. Search your library for a basic land card. Put that card onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library. Eternal Witness. One green, green, 
for a 2-1. Creature, human shaman. When eternal witness enters the battlefield, you may return target card from your graveyard to your hand. Reclamation Sage. Two green for a two one. Creature, elf shaman. When Reclamation Sage enters the battlefield, you may destroy target artifact or enchantment. And that is all for the creatures. Next up, we have our instants and sorceries. All right, so now we are on to the instants and sorceries. Lay of the land. Green for a sorcery. Search your library for a basic land card. Reveal that card and put it into your hand. Then shuffle your library. Nature's Lore one green for a sorcery. Search your library for a forest card. Put that card onto the battlefield, then shuffle. Kodama's Reach. Two green for a sorcery arcane. Search your library for up to two basic land cards. Reveal those cards. Put one onto the battlefield tapped, and the other into your hand. Then shuffle. Cultivate. Two green for a sorcery. Search your library for up to two basic land cards. Reveal those cards and put one onto the battlefield tapped and the other into your hand. Then shuffle your library. Explosive Vegetation Three green for a sorcery. Search your library for up to two basic land cards and put them onto the battlefield tapped. Then shuffle your library. Migration Path. Three green for a sorcery. Search your library for up to two basic land cards. Put them onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library. Cycling 2. Worldly Tutor. Green for an instant. Search your library for a creature card, and reveal that card to all players. Shuffle your library and put the revealed card back on top of it. Chatter of the Squirrel Green for a sorcery Put a 1-1 one, one Green Squirrel Creature Token into play. Flashback, one green.
acorn harvest, three green for a sorcery. Put two one one green squirrel creature tokens into play. Flashback, one green, pay three life. Return of the Wild Speaker. Four green for an instant. Choose one. Draw cards equal to the greatest power among non human creatures you control. Non human creatures you control get plus three plus three until end of turn. Titania's Command. Four green, green for a sorcery. Choose two. Exile target player's graveyard. You gain one life for each card exiled this way. Search your library for up to two land cards. Put them onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle. Create two, 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 green bear creature tokens. Put two plus one plus one counters on each creature you control. Heroic intervention. One green for an instant. Permanents you control gain hexproof and indestructible until end of turn. Patriarch's Bidding Three black black for a sorcery. Each player chooses a creature type. Each player returns all creature cards of a type chosen this way from their graveyard to the battlefield. Overwhelming Stampede Three green green for a sorcery. Until end of turn Creatures you control gain trample and get plus x plus x, where x is the greatest power among creatures you control. So this one also pairs nicely with that activated ability, where you can pump up one creature really big and then spread it out among your remaining creatures, probably as an attempt to end a game or take down one opponent. Crozen Grip. Two green for an instant. Split second. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Tear Asunder. One green for an instant. Kicker. One black. Exile target artifact or enchantment. If this spell was kicked, exile target nonland permanent instead. Putrefy. One black green for an instant. Destroy target artifact or creature. It can't be regenerated. Beast Within Two green for an instant. Destroy target permanent. 
its controller puts a 3-3 green beast creature token onto the battlefield. Death Sprout. One black, black, green for an instant. Destroy target creature. Search your library for a basic land card. Put it onto the battlefield tapped. Then shuffle your library. Pest Infestation X, X, green for a sorcery. Destroy up to X target artifacts and or enchantments. Create twice X, one, one, black and green pest creature tokens. With when this creature dies, you gain one life. And that was all for the instants and sorceries. Next up, we have enchantments. All right. So now we are on to the enchantments. Rites of Flourishing. Two green for an enchantment. At the beginning of each player's draw step, that player draws an additional card. Each player may play an additional land on each of their turns. Phyrexian Arena one black black for an enchantment. At the beginning of your upkeep, you draw a card and you lose one life. Gaia's Anthem. One green green for an enchantment. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Conspiracy. Three black, black for an enchantment. As conspiracy comes into play, choose a creature type. Creatures you control and creature cards in your graveyard, hand, and library are the chosen type. So this one comes in very handy for that patriarch's bidding we saw earlier. Squirrel Sanctuary Green for an enchantment. When Squirrel Sanctuary enters the battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one Green Squirrel Creature Token. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, you may pay 1. If you do, return Squirrel Sanctuary to its owner's hand. Burgeoning. Green for an enchantment. Whenever an opponent plays a land, you may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. Growing Rites of Itlamok. Two green for a legendary enchantment. When Growing Rites of Itlamok enters the battlefield, look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal a creature card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. 
at the beginning of your end step, if you control four or more creatures, transform growing rights of it, Lamach. which transforms into Itlamok, Cradle of the Sun, Legendary Land. Tap, add green to your mana pool. Tap, add green to your mana pool for each creature you control. Oops. Curse of Bounty One green for an enchantment, aura, curse. Enchant player. Whenever enchanted player is attacked, Untap all non-land permanents you control. Each opponent attacking that player untaps all non-land permanents they control. Squirrel Nest One green green for an enchantment aura. Enchant land. Enchanted land has tap, put a 1-1 one, one green squirrel creature token onto the battlefield. Binding the old gods. Two black green for an enchantment saga. Chapter 1 Destroy target non-land permanent an opponent controls. Chapter 2 Search your library for a forest card. Put it onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library. Chapter 3 Creatures you control gain death touch until end of turn. And that was our last enchantment. Next up are the Planeswalkers. Alright, so now we are on to the Planeswalkers, and there are just two today. Garuk, Primal Hunter. Two green, green, green. For a three loyalty, Planeswalker, Garuk. Plus one. Put a three three green beast creature token onto the battlefield. Minus three. Draw cards equal to the greatest power among creatures you control. Minus six. Put a six six green worm creature token onto the battlefield for each land you control. Garuk, Collar of Beasts. Four green, green. For a four loyalty, Planeswalker, Garuk. Plus one. Reveal the top five cards of your library. Put all creature cards revealed this way into your hand, and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. Minus three. Draw cards equal to the greatest power among creatures you control. Minus seven. You get an emblem with whenever you cast a creature spell. You may search your library for a creature card, put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. 
so those were the two planeswalkers. Next up are the artifacts. All right, so now we are on to the artifacts. Chitter Spitter. Two green for an artifact. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may sacrifice a token. If you do, put an acorn counter on Chitter Spitter. Squirrels you control get plus one plus one for each acorn counter on Chitter Spitter. Green tap. Create a one one green squirrel creature token. Maskwood Nexus. Four for an artifact. Creatures you control are every creature type. The same is true for creature spells you control and creature cards you own that aren't on the battlefield. Three, tap. Create a 2-2 blue shapeshifter creature token with changeling. Acroma's Memorial. Seven, for a legendary artifact. Creatures you control have flying, First Strike, Vigilance, Trample, Haste, Protection from Black, and Protection from Red. Pretty powerful artifact if you can manage to land it. Coat of Arms. Five for an artifact. Each creature gets plus one plus one for each other creature in play of the same creature type. Bow of Nylia. Four green green for a legendary enchantment artifact. Attacking creatures you control have death touch. One green tap. Choose one. Put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. Or Bow of Nylia deals two damage to target creature with flying. Or you gain three life. Or put up to four target cards from your graveyard on the bottom of your library in any order. Whip of Erebos. Two black black for a legendary enchantment artifact. Creatures you control have lifelink. Two black black tap. Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. It gains haste. Exile it at the beginning of the next end step. If it would leave the battlefield, Exile it instead of putting it anywhere else. Activate this ability only any time you could cast a sorcery. Arcane Signet. Two for an artifact. Tap, add one mana of any color in your commander's color identity. Golgari Signet. Two for an artifact. One tap. Add black green to your mana pool. Soul Ring. One for an artifact. Tap. 
add two colorless to your mana pool. Stoneforge Masterwork 1. For an artifact, equipment. Equipped creature gets plus one plus one for each other creature you control that shares a creature type with it. Equip 2. Loxodon Warhammer. 3. For an artifact, equipment. Equipped creature gets plus 3 plus 0, has trample, and whenever this creature deals damage, you gain that much life. Equip 3. Swiftfoot Boots. 2. For an artifact, equipment. Equipped creature has hexproof and haste. Equip one. Skull clamp. One for an artifact, equipment. Equipped creature gets plus one, minus one. When equipped creature is put into a graveyard, draw two cards. Equip one. So this is a pretty good job assignment for your squirrel tokens when they are one ones. And that is all for the artifacts. Next up are the lands. All right. We are in the home stretch here, going into lands. First up is Command Tower. Land, tap, add one mana of any color in your commander's color identity. Dark Boar Pathway. Land. Tap. Add black. Or. Slither Boar Pathway. Land. Tap. Add green. Overgrown Tomb Land Swamp Forest As Overgrown Tomb enters the battlefield, you may pay two life. If you don't, Overgrown Tomb enters the battlefield tapped. Haunted Mire Land Swamp Forest. Haunted Mire enters the battlefield tapped. Woodland Cemetery. Land. Woodland Cemetery enters the battlefield tapped, unless you control a swamp or forest. Tap, add black or green to your mana pool. Deathcap Glade Land Deathcap Glade enters the battlefield tapped unless you control two or more other lands. Tap, add black or green. Undergrowth Stadium. Land. Undergrowth Stadium enters the battlefield tapped, 
unless you have two or more opponents. Tap, add black or green. Tainted wood. Land. Tap, add one to your mana pool. Tap, add black or green to your mana pool. Activate this ability only if you control a swamp. Temple of Malady Land Temple of Malady enters the battlefield tapped. When Temple of Malady enters the battlefield, scry one. Tap, add black or green. Dark Moss Bridge Artifact Land Dark Moss Bridge enters the battlefield tapped. Indestructible Tap, add black or green. Vivid Marsh Land Vivid Marsh enters the battlefield tapped with two charge counters on it. Tap, add black to your mana pool. Tap, remove a charge counter from Vivid Marsh. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Bajuka Bog Land Bajuka Bog enters the battlefield tapped. When Bajuka Bog enters the battlefield, exile all cards from target player's graveyard. Tap, add black to your mana pool. Urborg, Tomb of Yogmoth, Legendary Land. Each land is a swamp, in addition to its other types. Vivid Grove Land Vivid Grove enters the battlefield tapped, with two charge counters on it. Tap, add green to your mana pool. Tap Remove a charge counter from Vivid Grove. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Yavamaya, Cradle of Growth. Legendary Land. Each land is a forest, in addition to its other types. Reliquary Tower Land You have no maximum hand size Tap, add colorless This one is pretty important to have around for all of those card draw spells That help you draw an absurd number of cards And then the rest of these are just basic land cards, so I will just flip through them quickly now. Woo.
and there we have it. Thank you so much for joining me today for this EDH deck tour. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about this deck, I'm happy to field them down in the comments below, or talk about EDH in general. Of course, please make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. I put out new Magic the Gathering ASMR videos every Monday and Friday, including EDH videos like this one. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.